guys, this is Little Me, back with another video. Alright, so I'm going to make this a very, very short uh, video, um, mainly because it's a nightmare to try to upload a video off this camera that is 6, 8, 10 minutes. Um, so, um, you guys may notice that I'm back in my seat. This is a heck of a lot more easier to do videos when I'm in my seat than compared to you know, trying to do them um, any other way because me and the floor, we don't get along. So I'm going to be talking about something I'll be doing um, and one of them is, one of the things I'm going to be doing first of all because I already own it is the um, sagas. These are the, these, these are considered to be very important foundational text and this is um, our mythology this is our wisdom especially the wisdom from um, Odin and so it's important to read them so um, the first one that I read was the Velispo or the wise woman prophecy and this is when Odin goes and raises up the spirit um, of this Seer, seers or prophecess or how you pronounce it and basically she tells what is going to happen when she tells what has happened and what will happen and I was I was reading this and I was thinking well you know if Odin knew about all this stuff why didn't he prevent it from happening why didn't he prevent Baldur's death why didn't he prevent all this stuff and I have been thinking about it for several months and I'm thinking to myself, okay, what exactly is going on here? I have come to the conclusion that the reason that Odin is not, you know, doesn't get involved in any of this and try to change things is because he can't. Um, there's this belief in Greek mythology that Zeus and the gods are bound to fate and they cannot change it. No matter how much they want to change it, how much they try to circumvent it, they cannot um, prevent it from happening. And my belief is that it's the same thing with the Vallispo. Odin is told what is going to happen and what has happened and what will happen, but he can't change it because it is, um, because you can't change fate. And that is what I have gotten from the Velispo. Um, it is a very, very beautiful story. I love it. Um, I do have a problem pronouncing um, a lot of the words, um, especially like the elves and, and, and things like that, and individuals like that. Um, but I really, really happen to have uh, liked the Velispo, and I always like look at and say, okay, what is original Norse and what's been Christianized? And I come to the point I can't tell um, what has been Christianized and what hasn't. But um, yeah, so uh, that's my impression of Velispo. Um, I will be reading. The next story and or the next saga and when I'm done with that I will do a video on that so um, yeah so I will see you guys like I said in my last video either Thursday or Saturday so um, I will see you around until next time oh, may you all be blessed